The next drill that Becca is going to demonstrate is a long toss drill, and some pitchers like to do this drill to warm up pregame, uh, and some pitchers just like to do this in practice. So basically what it entails is she's going to throw one from the mound, then she's going to take three to four giant steps backwards, throw one or two, whichever she's more comfortable. I'm telling her one in this demonstration. She's going to continue back until she, as far as she can go and she can't hit the catcher. So you're going to notice her throws are going to get a little loftier and she's going to try to hit her catcher without one hopping him. Push your pitcher back as far as she can without not being able to make it to him and have her throw 10 from that distance and then have her come into the mound and throw 10 as hard as she possibly can. This is a good speed drill for your pitcher. It's a good lengthening drill. It's a good a drill to get her to force her to use her body and her muscles more, longer stride, everything. It does a lot of really good things. So this is what we call long toss. I'm going to let Becca demonstrate a little bit of a shortened version. So she's probably going to make it all the way back to the edge of the grass, throw a few, and then she's going to come in and throw some fastballs. Good, back. So you'll notice she's doing mostly the walk through as she's doing this. It's not a stationary drill. It's, it's her walking through into throwing this so she can get her legs going for this. Okay, so this is kind of her final point. She's going to throw 10. I won't make her throw 10 here, but you're getting kind of the idea. Maybe scoot in a little bit because she's short harming her catcher. Throw a couple more for me. There we go. Good, back. Okay, so let me reiterate. You want her to throw 10 good pitches from this distance, okay? 10 good pitches from this distance, really forcing her. She's doing a great job, really nice follow through. After she's done 10, then she's going to go back to the mound and we're going to throw 10 hard. Go ahead and back. In this drill, I like the catchers to be standing up. That way the pitchers don't feel like they have to throw a strike and they're just working on hard mechanics. Okay, let's get one down to his waist. So really try to get your pitcher to throw these at waist level. She's throwing a few high because she's trying to make the adjustment on her release point. 